Like it or not, NSRS 2022 is coming up fast. Low distortion projections will play a big part in this new datum. In fact, some entities are already creating unique LDPs to use on projects. If you're lucky enough to work on one of these projects, you are able to use them with Tremble equipment. In this video, we will look at how to set up a custom coordinate system for use in Trimble Business Center. Shown here on the screen is an example of an LDP that can be used. This LDP is set up in the Texas Central Zone. In order to utilize this custom projection in TVC, we're going to have to start in Coordinate System Manager. The first thing that needs to be done is open CSM. Once open, the first step is to, is to define the group that we will be using. Click the arrow next to the Add button and select New Group. I'm going to call this group Test LDP. Hit OK. And now you can see the group in the list. Now we can define the new coordinate system. Make sure the group is highlighted and click the arrow next to the add button again and choose the new coordinate system. I'm going to call this custom projection Texas Test LDP. If you look on here, it says the datum is NAT83 NSRS 2011. So we'll Click down here and we'll navigate up. And right here we've got an ad 83 2011. We'll choose that for the datum name. We're not going to worry about a data method. If we click down, there's only the seven parameter transformation. Next thing we do is come into the projection. And from here, it's pretty much a, a, a uh, it's a cut and paste, but we do have to define what kind of uh, projection this is. Right here, it tells us that it is, it is an oblique Mercator projection. When we look at the Mercator projections, there are two different types. There's an oblique Mercator two points and an oblique Mercator RSO. There's not really time in this video to talk about all the differences between the two types. But when we look at what we have here, RSO version requires an angle, while two points requires two points of latitude and two points of longitude to create two points on the surface. If we look at our LDP, we only have one latitude and one longitude at the point of origin. For this video, we're going to go with Oblique Mercator Angle RSO. And then everything looks correct here. So, now we can copy and paste. We can come and put in the latitude of local origin or the central latitude and then the longitude and then we've got the false northing and easting here in feet but it require it wants it in meters so i've already done the conversion the northing is False northing is 304-8006.09601 meters. And the easting is 914-401.828804. And just to confirm, I did convert this. I didn't do it as international feet. I did it as U.S. survey feet. 
So we've got a scale factor here. I'm going to copy that and paste over here. They're not rectified coordinates, but we do have an azimuth that we need to input. We're going to use this negative number. So if you see that it's in degrees, that's decimal degrees. And we can look shift grid. We don't have a shift grid file that we're going to use. And we're not going to define a geoid model for this right now. So we can go ahead and tell it OK. And then we'll go File, Save. And then we'll go into Trimble Business Center to test it out. So here we have a data set that is in the area in question. Um, and if we zoom in, we can see that these shots were taken on the center line of a feeder road. Uh, center line to the outside of a feeder road. So I can take this. We can come up to project settings and we can change the coordinate system to our test LDP that we just put in. We we'll hit finish. We'll tell it OK. And then we can see the, the points falling in, in the same place along the feeder route. And once again, if we go back to South Central, or the Central Zone, rather, Once it recomputes the project, we're right back in the original position. Thanks for watching this month's tip. We'll see you next month with another quick tip from Chris.